and welcome back. So today I have a huge, huge Target haul to share with you guys. He was in my last Five Below shop with me, my husband Carlos. Hello. And a lot of you guys seemed to enjoy seeing him. And he actually went with me to Target. I did. I was right there. Was right right there, there in the action. And we picked up so much stuff. Biggest top shop. <laughs> It was one of the biggest Target shopping trips we've ever done. Oh yeah, it wasn't like we were gonna buy some stuff and then we we're like, but we need this and we need this and, and, and then next thing you know, gold mine. <laughs> gold mine and we are not ones that no normally spend like no. hundreds of dollars when we go shopping. Mm -hmm. We are very frugal and you know, we just don't got have that kind of extra money to do that. No. But today- We got kids to feed, Jack. <laughs> And one on the way. Yeah. But th this one, we just, we did go a little bit crazy, but it was all things we needed or really wanted. And uh, yeah, so we thought we would share it with you guys because we found some really good stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the haul. Let's get haul. So, in no particular order, I don't know how you want to start this. What is do you do the hauls? I don't know. I don't know about the hauls. Mm -hmm. We're going your, we go in your direction of the haul. Okay, let's just pick from the first bag. Okay. Yay. So, yay. Yay. What do we got? I picked up some of my favorite Mrs. Myers. This Mrs. Myers peony scent is one of my favorites. I look forward to it when it comes in at springtime. What, what do you think of this smell? Do you like it? Let me see, let me see. I buy it almost every year that... Mmm. I feel like running through a field of daisies. No, peonies. Is that a flower? Yes, it's a flower. That's not I flower. I thought it was a dog. Oh my god. So, this is one of my favorite scents, like I said. So, I got this and this. However, I almost got... Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. I got the dish soap and the hand soap. So cute. So springy looking. But, I did see... Maybe I can insert a picture. Method. You know, Target's... It's not Target's brand, though. It's just sold at Target? I think it's Target's brand. I don't think so. I no. think they sell it at other places, too. Anyways, they have a new packaging. I wish I would have showed it to you yesterday. Uh oh. It looks so cool. So as soon as I run out of these, I'm gonna switch over and try that because the packaging like was so close to getting me, but this scent got me a little bit more. But really cool packaging on their dish soap and um, new hand soaps method has. So gonna try that out next. Score. If you've tried that, let me know what you think about it. I don't know how long it's been out there for. Okay. The next thing I got, you guys, I have been trying so hard on this natural deodorant journey. I have not found many natural deodorants, or any actually, that work really well for me. I feel like after, by the end of the day, I'm not smelling as fresh as I would like to be. <laughs> but, you know, they say you shouldn't have the aluminum and all that stuff. No, yeah, aluminum's bad. You switched yours, yeah. and yours works well for you, that every so. man jack, you get your, yeah. isn't that what it's called? I I think that's what it's called, yeah. Yeah, it, it works well, yeah. You get yours at Target. So, I decided to try this one that I haven't tried before, this Love, Beauty, and Planet. I'm gonna give this a shot. It seemed to smell really good. The scent is Miro, Miro, Miro Butter and Rose. You're, mm. I feel like I'm totally butchering that name. Miro, Miro Butter and po Rose. What? Uh, Muru, Muru Butter. Muru, Muru. Muru, Muru. Muro, Muro. It's a real cute packaging. So, if any of you guys, I've tried the Schmitz, I've tried the Native, I've tried Tom's. It's, Tom's think, didn't work for me either. No, and I know I've tried another one. So, if any of you guys have any recommendations of a natural deodorant that works really well, that's easy to get, not super, super expensive. This is infused with Amazonian Muru Muru butter, and it protects you from odor while the luscious rose extracts helps. Keep you fresh and fragrant. <laughs> fragrant. Fragrant. Let me know if you guys have tried this, if you like it, or if you have another one that you would recommend. You pull something out of the bag. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, all right, okay. All right, all right. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. I got a notebook. <laughs> yeah, it's not that exciting, but um, I am obsessed with notebooks. I write in my notebook all the time from things I have to do in the day. You also have a notebook, but I also I, I work on a radio show, so I write bits and segments on there. I write things that I learn, and... What's so special about this notebook? Well, this says a three subject, not just one all the way through. So I like to go in and put little tabs, and so I'll have a daily thing that I put, and that'll be like all my affirmations and goals and things that I'm trying to achieve in that day. And then the second section will be like things I learn, like what I'm reading, videos that I watch, and I kind of 
I jot down notes so that I can go back over them later. And then the third section is... What are you going to put in the pockets? You got pockets. I put little notes, little treats. I, I always love when they put little yeah. pockets in the little dividers. Yeah. I think that's nice. And then the third section is from my radio show and my podcast, which you should listen to, to the top. Never stop. So it's three separate sections to learn about three separate things. And I go through like a notebook. I look back like the last notebook I got was the end of November. So um, and every we'll, couple months, every couple months, and then I keep them, and then you look back on them, and you're like, oh, I don't keep my notebooks. You gotta keep them. I don't. You I, gotta keep them. I throw my. The best thing you can have in your own personal library is your notebooks, because then. But most of my notebooks, uh, well. It's good. It's good to have it. Jim Ron, he talks about it. Keep your notebooks, because later on you look back and you're like, wow, I achieved this. I did this. I did that. And then I got some new pens because I was using Dollar Tree <gasps> pens. Don't be smirch. And they Dollar Tree. give up. They give up. You start writing, all of a sudden you're like, what the? And so I spent three dollars and twenty nine. Wrong Dollar Tree. Oh no, I've got all the Dollar Tree pens. And this one is uh, if you're looking for a zero point seven millimeter with blue ink, these are your pens. So <laughs> I got two. Did those pens cost three bucks. Okay. Three bucks, not too bad. I didn't go crazy with them, but um, if you don't have a notebook, you don't have a pen, and you're living your life every single day, it'll really help. It helps you keep you organized. For me, if keeping everything in your head can get crazy. The mind is a messy office. Have a place to put down stuff. No I feel like it can pen. help with anxiety. It getting, really does. Getting it out of your brain and onto paper, I feel like helps me. Absolutely. So. I think that a lot of people... It can also, when you look at everything, can also increase anxiety. It can. Sometimes. But if you have trouble sleeping, a lot of times, write down the stuff that's going on in your brain. Keep a notebook by your side bed. A little, you know, uh, table side. What is it called? Bed. Nightstand. Nightstand. And uh, helps you sleep. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, I got another Mrs. Myers thing because. Enough with the Mrs. Myers! No, but I like her. Is it a girl? You don't even know Mrs. I Myers. I don't. I don't even know what she looks like. But I did get this all purpose spray in the honeysuckle scent. It smells quite delightful. Quite delightful. I was looking for it in the peony scent. Ooh. Right? Yeah, that smells, smells so, good. So good. So, so, so good. good. So, so good. I was actually looking for the Honest Companies. Oh my God. Okay. Tastes good too. All right, can I show you guys something that I'm super, super, super excited? Super, super. Okay, I, will, I can't even take credit for this. Oh. I know. Yesterday, I was looking on Amazon at diaper bags. And if you don't know, I'm pregnant. And uh, mm. the baby's due in just a couple months and I, you know, need a diaper bag. And I decided that I want like a leather looking diaper bag. And so I was looking on Amazon, found some, showed him a couple of them. And then when we were in Target, he was like, hey, I think I found a diaper bag you're gonna like. I'm like, no, no not at Target. What do you mean? He's like, no, come here, check this out. And it was on an end cap on like a clearance thing. And on the tag, it said online. So someone bought this online and returned it to the store. I don't know why they returned it because it's literally exactly, exactly. what I was looking for. Look how pretty this diaper bag is. It is by the JJ Cole line. Not the rapper, the designer. <laughs> and it's like a perfect size and I feel like it's it's feminine, but it's also masculine. Like if he's taking the baby somewhere, he wouldn't be like weird about taking this and hey, using this. Yeah. <laughs> it's macho enough. There. It seems to be a good size in this front pocket. It has a little like thing in here where you can put bottles and stuff. It was originally $83.99. And since it was an online item, they marked it down to $58.79. What? And they hooked us up with a little bit at the end because they messed up bringing our stuff in. Yeah, it was the whole thing. It was the whole so thing. we ended up getting this diaper bag for like forty-five bucks, which I think is score. <laughs> such a score. And so, oh, and it's and it's um, you know, a backpack, which that's what I wanted. I wanted a backpack kind. And this is real leather. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. Oh this ain't pleather. It's leather. And this is like a magnet close, so that's nice. It says that it has. 15 pockets. It's machine washable. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited about this. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you again for finding this because it's nice to know that we've got something like checked off the list. Yeah, you know? Yeah, we were, we were concerned about it. I mean, we don't I mean, have a lot of things checked off the no, list. Uh -uh. 
So the fact that we now have a diaper bag checked off the list, and it's got a little pocket back here. I mean, I love this diaper bag. I'm really excited Big about score. it. Love it, and I think it's a great deal. Big score. Big score. Oh, well, I think you should share this. Okay. I'm curious to see because you in the past never really used shave gel that much. Right. It is the Harry's shave gel. So he's been using a Harry's razor for a while. I was stealing it. I'm actually using Harry's razors now. Harry's razor. I got it as a gift for Christmas some years back. And as you can see, uh, I have a bald head. I shave my head. It's nice. It's really good for my head. I mostly use it on my head. I really, not your face. Not a lot on my face because I just kind of outline this. Got my, you know, chin strap, oh my facial hair thing, boy band look going on, you know. Oh um, and, uh, but I have used it and so it's So you nice. recommend this for guys that have bald heads that Yes, shape. yes. And it actually has lotto numbers back here. 13, zero, Oh one. my God, that's crazy. It says lotto number, it says try. I have never seen a company do something. They have clever uh, marketing, you know, foams into a rich lather that what provides cushion and glide. What if we tried that and well, we win the lotto? That would be pretty awesome. Oh my god. Aloe hydrates, nice, right? That's what they have. Uh, oh. So yeah, it's, like it's, it's a good product and it's a, it's a cheaper than, uh, than, than what? like Gillette. Really? Way, cheap, way cheaper than Gillette. Way cheaper really? than Gillette. And, but that's kind of what they're, uh, they're going for. I should probably use it more on my face so I can be a little smoother, but I'm, I'm like a pirate. I'm like, ah, oh make me shave. But Harry's razor, I recommend. They ain't paying me to say it, but I recommend it. Um, some, what are these called? Dishwasher tabs. I was thinking about going with a non, like a cleaner, more green kind, but I thought, huh, I'm not there yet. This is a 64 gig uh, thumb flash drive, which um, I'm gonna use for uh, editing purposes. Uh, but you were really surprised at the price of that, right? 12 bucks. I think that's pretty, I was expecting, you know, we have a bunch of other hard drives and stuff, but this is for travel. So like editing when I'm doing my radio show, editing at different places. Pop it in, not something big and inconvenient. 64 and 64 gigs, 64 gigs and it was rated, I looked it up while I was there, one of the highest rated, rated flash drives. So, gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a go. 64 gigs, not that much when you come in a video, but I'm not trying to keep a bunch of stuff on there. Yeah. Um, and uh, needed this for a while, so glad I got it. So, I decided to get this Everspring. I just got the baby one, obviously. It is free and clear of all the things. It says it's gonna remove the toughest stains. This is like the, that newer brand at Target. I, <laughs> I, I don't know how well this works. If you use this brand, let me know what you think. I just decided, you know, to try this. It's like two bucks. It's anyway. hypoallergenic. Yeah. Well, you know, we're gonna have a baby soon, and I'm gonna get the draft and all that stuff. Not tested on animals. I like that. Ninety-six percent bio-based. Means I, don't I can drink it right now. But I was going to at least start trying this out on like my makeup remover cloths and stuff I use. So gonna give it a shot but I'll tell you what I did what I did I made the switch I wasn't ready to with the dishwasher tablets yet but laundry detergent I'm not at all the way on the free and clear for all of our stuff yet but I did go plant, Whoa, mama. <laughs> plant based I got the downy nature blends it still has ah, it's plant-based like I said but it still has some scent I'm not ready to go completely scentless yet I, I love scent me I don't, I don't, I know it's toxic. I know it can sleep into our skin, but I like smelling it good. I know, but that smells good. It smells good. No, smell I'll be it. the judge of this. Smell it. I don't think it's going to smell good. It's probably not going to smell good. It smells good. It does smell good. It's the honey lavender. I watched a documentary the other night on Netflix. What was it called? Oh. Stink, stink. Stink. And whew, it got me thinking about laundry detergent and stuff. So I made the switch this go around. We'll see how it sticks. And this one is the Gain plant-based detergent, white tea and lavender. So again, not totally free and clear, but we're taking steps in the non-toxic direction, I guess. Pretty soon we'll be living out in the forest. <laughs> you didn't get that much stuff. I ate my caramel corn that I bought. Oh, how was your caramel it corn? It was fantastic. I had you hankering for some caramel corn, and it was good. Is it caramel or caramel? Caramel. Caramel. <laughs> caramel. caramel. Okay, I picked up the Elf Wow Brow in Taupe. I love this stuff. This, to me, is a dupe for the Give Me Brow by Benefit. I used a deep? To, a dupe. I used to buy that all the time. I mean, I think the Give Me Brow might be a little bit better, but for me, 
I really, really love this. Sometimes I will just use this on its own. Other times I use it in conjunction. We'll go with it. With the Elf Eyebrow Pencil. Why do they go with the name Elf? Hmm? Uh, Eyes, lips, face. Ah, uh, ah. Because yeah. Elf, you don't think, you know, a lot of Elves probably don't use makeup. Yeah, yeah. Um, so eyes, lips, face. Eyes, lips, face. I'm pretty second. sure. So if you need an eyebrow thing, now if you have to do a lot of penciling in, this isn't going to, you know, be the best. But if you just need a little bit of color and like it to like keep them in place, this does a really good job. For your eyebrows? Yeah, for your eyebrows. Luckily, very thick. <laughs> oh Super God. thick. Roman emperor thick. Oh Greek warrior thick. Oh my God. Okay, I also got this, um, uh, Maybelline lipstick in the color Baddest Beige. Okay. I, Baddest Beige. I love this color and I lost my other one. It's such a pretty color. It's just a nice pretty nude. It's a really, really pretty color and it was only like five bucks at Target. So pick that up. Here we go. So if you didn't check out my video on five things to start the year fresh. On your To The Top Never Stop channel. To The Top Never Stop YouTube channel. Appreciate it if you check it out. If you want to start the year fresh, and I know we're only in February, buy new underwear. Let me do what all the people do. They put their hand behind it like that. That's me on the cover. <laughs> um, I modeled for that. I'm not a tidy whitey kind of guy. I'm a boxer brief kind of guy. I have thick legs. Well, when we were first started dating, you wore oh God, really awful looking white tidy whitey. They weren't white. Yeah, they, they were. They were not white. Okay, They great. were gray. Right. They were gray. But um, I like the support I'm around my that legs. You um, and I have what I like to call Beyonce thighs because they're nice and thick. Um, <laughs> and so I, you haven't tried those. I haven't yet. tried these yet. But Goodfellow, great. Um, you like their shoes? Their shoes. What else do you like? Uh, I think I have a pair of their shirts or something. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. I will return underwear. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that uh, uh, embarrassed by it. So I'm looking forward to it. And I wear a size medium, 32, 34. If you're wondering. <laughs> God. And that is me. I know it's uh, it's black skin, but I'm black right here. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Uh, I speaking of kind of clothes. That's not clothes, but it goes underneath clothes. I got myself a pair of a maternity okay. jeans. Um, I have one other pair of maternity jeans, but it has the kind that like the panel goes all the way up and covers your belly and it's a darker wash. So I wanted a lighter wash. Maternity jeans are not very cute. They're just not. They don't make that many cute ones. I wanted some distressed ones, but I don't want to spend a ton of money. So I think these were uh, how much? 30 bucks, $29.99. So not a horrible price. I do like that it's like frayed kind of on the bottom. I love the fray. And um, they're a little big, but still I don't got know. a little bit to go, too. <laughs> we do still have a little bit so. to go. I, like I said, I normally wear the kind with the panels, so I like, they sit under the belly, so I like that, but I don't know My if My jeans like... also sit under the belly. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm sold, though, because when I bent over, it kind of like showed like my booty a little bit. Um, but I wear longer shirts with my pregnant belly anyway, so they did also have these jeans though in the kind where it goes up over the belly So I may return them and exchange them for that pair But I don't know if you're pregnant, which do you prefer the kind that goes over the belly or under the belly? I also got this tank top. I happen to like over the belly <laughs> Oh my god, that's not cute. I got this white maternity tank top because it goes down long, nice and long. I need some long ones. Yeah, you need. And it was only ten one. bucks, so not bad. So, and it was um five percent. Well, when we went, it was five percent off. An extra, you know, five percent. You got the circle. You better get the circle. <laughs> yeah, the, is that what it's called? It's called now? the circle. Forget yeah. about what the car. What did it used to be called? Like pinwheel. Cartwheel. 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 Yeah. Now it's the circle. The <laughs> circle. You got circle. Get the circle. Get the circle. Use the circle. Use the circle. I'm gonna save the other thing that I'm so excited for for the last thing. But we're almost at the end. My daughter, she was also with us. She's at a friend's right now, but she really wanted this shirt. And I do think it's cute. It says my weekend is all booked and it just has bell on it. Our daughter loves to read. And I think it was, what, how much was it? $8.99. So not a terrible price. Yeah. Super cute. And you know, so if you have a little girl in your life that loves to read, cute little shirt. Yeah, how can you say no? How can, yeah. It's I hard mean, to say no when your kid wants to 
book about a, a shirt, shirt about, about reading. reading. I know. You're like, all right, get uh, it. Lennon also got, I will insert a clip of what she got because she knew she wasn't going to be here for the haul, but she wanted to share with you guys. So here we go. Lennon also got something at Target. What'd you get? I got this white rug that looks like snow <laughs> and I make snow angels on it. <laughs> You've been wanting a rug in your room for a while. And you bought this with your own money, right? My own money. Do you remember how much? It was like $60. Mm-hmm. It was $60. You used your birthday money. Do you love your rug? Uh-huh. We love guys. <laughs> You're doing good with your splits. All right. I'm glad you love your Target rug. It's super soft, right? Yes, very soft. What size? This is a, what size this was this? Is four. Four by five and a half, I think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's. Fits perfectly yeah. in my room. I still have a lot of room to roll around in my yeah. And It's the perfect also, size for your room. Yeah, and also when I get out of bed, I can step on it. Also when I play in my kitchen, I can step on it. And when I'm getting stuff out of my drawers, I can step on it. And it's nice and soft on your feet. Yes, and also... Oh my I, goodness, what? <laughs> I was playing with my dolls on it, so it's super... Fun just to sit around. Glad you Good. love it. Yay, Target. Yay! <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you Bye. for sharing. Bye. I also got a new pair of shoes. I've been wanting a pair of shoes like these. They just have like a little platform and they're nude. So I figure I can wear them with like black and brown stuff and white stuff and all the things. I tried them on. They seem really comfortable. They are by the brand A New Day. They had some real cute shoes. There was another pair that I was going to get, but you know. Girl can't get all of them. And they were $29.99. So, and I think they had like 10%, I think it was like 10% off when we went for the shoes. So, not the best deal, but not a terrible deal. I think I'll wear these a lot. Be cute with dresses and jeans and shorts. Do you really like those shoes? I do. I do. Not that it would matter to me, but. Oh, really? Oh, I mean, I'm going to wear them anyways if yeah, you don't better. like them. <laughs> okay, the last thing that. Man, grate some cheese with these. Well, hopefully it'll keep me from falling on my face. <laughs> okay. Okay. The last thing that I got that I'm so excited about, me and Lennon. Big find. Big find. Huge find. We're just huge talking about this. Fine. Yeah. We were literally just talking about it before we went to Target. And we've been really talking about the baby's room and the things that we need for the baby and all that stuff. Some people call it the nursery. Right, the nursery. It can just get overwhelming, and we haven't had to get this kind of stuff all at one time. I mean, our other daughter, our daughter, our only one. We don't know what's in what this one is. Uh, she's nine, so it's been a long time since we've had to get all these kinds of things, decorate oh, yeah. a nursery, and so. I've been thinking about it nonstop. <laughs> I have been thinking about okay, it. Okay, she's been thinking about it nonstop. So I have like vibe that I'm going with and I have like mood boards done and all that stuff and I knew I wanted to have a magnolia wreath in this room I've been looking online I've seen some that are really expensive and then some that aren't so expensive but they look not so expensive you know what I mean and then lo and behold in Target uh, <laughs> I stumbled upon this beautiful wow magnolia wreath Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. So my my nursery colors are like white, tan, um, uh, like a leather, like a cognac -y leather, and then greenery. That's kind of like the vibe I'm going for. And We're actually gonna have a cognac bottle in the room because we love cognac. <laughs> no. I just really like that color of leather. And I think it's so pretty. It's by the Smith and Hawken brand. And and here's the best part. It was also on clearance. How much did we get it for? Well, it was on clearance. Tell them what I do. Tell them what I do. Okay, hold on. It was originally $44.99. Uh-huh. Then it was marked down on clearance $31.48. Uh-huh. Then what? And then Carlos saw that a couple leaves have little like cuts in them. And that was actually perfectly fine for me because it made it look more realistic. But Carlos said to the cashier, um, excuse me, there's a couple little like 
problems. So like some wear and tear here, and we didn't see another one. You know, you should always do that. If you see that some uh, 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 item has some issues with it, nine times out of 10, they will give you a pretty significant discount. They give us like $9 off of uh, this. Uh, I think they gave you like 10% or 15%. Either way. Either way, yeah. make it have I will with not that. do that. I, I have zero use. problems with it. I worked at Target back in the day. They don't care. They're like, sure, one last thing I got is own. I do appreciate, you know, the deal though. So I'm really right. excited. They actually had one other one there. So if you've been on the hunt for a magnolia wreath, it's 22 inches, so it's quite big too. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so realistic looking. And I love the magnolia wreaths that have a little bit of the brown leaves as well. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to be able to share the baby's room with you as I start pulling it together and everything. But that is everything that we picked up at Target. Yay! Yay! We did it! We did it. That and was so much fun hauling with you. Oh, I'm glad you had fun hauling yeah, with me. Yeah, fun hauling with you too. Let me know about the deodorant, if you have a really good natural deodorant you recommend. Also on the like, um, what's it called? The, 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 the thingy with the thingy. <laughs> the, 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 the detergent. The detergents, the detergents. If you have one that you really like or you have like a hack or something. And if you use <laughs> notebooks. Just let us know all the things yeah. in the comments below. And if you really think this is me. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe and I think that's it. That's it. That's it. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Later girls. Bye. Oh my god, you're so stupid.